Hey everyone, I'm Dusty Grouse, and this video will give you five tips and tricks to get more points in Wingspan and win more games. The five tips and tricks that will transform your game are resources first, two in the bush, merely three, always tuck, and egg out. It's important to first play birds that will gain you more resources, like this Pied Build Creep to get you a net additional card, this Grasshopper Sparrow will lay an additional egg, and the Painted White Start will get you a food. Sometimes I see beginners play expensive birds early in the game which won't help you build your resource piles. If the bird isn't going to help you get more cards, eggs, or food, then I would hold off playing it until later in the game. My next tip is two in the bush. When I'm choosing my cards at the beginning of the game, I always look for birds that will get me food. It's the most important resource to get your strategy humming at the beginning of the game. If I cannot find these types of birds, then my next focus is to get two in the bush, or two of any birds in my forest habitat. By putting two birds in my forest, I will unlock the potential to get two foods from the feeder, the most important early game resource. In this example, you can see that I played the yellow-throated warbler and eastern screech owl in my forest. Not necessarily because I was attracted by their power, but they were the least expensive way to get two in the bush. Next, we have our tip or trick called merely three. I see a lot of beginners go all out to win the end of round goals, but they end up making expensive decisions that burn up turns and resources for merely three points. Three points end up being only about 4% of your final score. So although it's helpful to win one or two end of round goals in a game, you don't want to lose sight of the other five ways to win points in Wingspan. The next rule is always tuck. I see a lot of beginners hold onto cards instead of tucking them. My game score has improved when I took advantage of tuckers and I became less attached to the birds in my hand and trusted that I would get a new playable bird later. These six tuckers shown here are ideal because when you tuck a card, you get to draw a new one while getting a point in the process. Of course, there are exceptions, and sometimes you have a really valuable card that fits your strategy and you do not want to get rid of it. But in general, bird cards aren't as valuable as you think they are, and you will do a better job by putting them through the revolving door of tucking. Finally, my personal favorite, egg out. This strategy mainly applies to the last round of the game, round four. Leftover cards in your hand and leftover food in your supply do not translate into points at the end of the game, making egg laying the highest value resource and action to take. In this example, it's round four and I have nine cards on my player mat with four in my grassland. This allows me to lay four eggs each turn for four points. Four points now becomes my baseline minimum for each of my five turns. Every decision I make from this point on needs to exceed four points per turn or it will not be worth doing. For example, maybe I had the Eastern Screech Owl in my hand. It's more fun to add birds to my mat than just laying eggs. But by laying the owl, I only gain three points versus the four points from my eggs. In this example, I might have some birds that earn me points in my water habitat. It's way more fun to use my yellow-headed blackbird, violet-green swallow, and golden eagle than just laying eggs. Activating the water roll would get me between 3 and 4 points depending on the success of the eagle, so once again, it would be better to egg out. Because of the power of getting eggs and points from your grassland, I spend a lot of my final turns activating this row. It's for this reason that throughout the game, I like to put birds in my grassland that will give me points, like the red-winged blackbird and peregrine falcon. These two birds can increase my minimum points per turn score from four to six or seven based on if I have extra cards in my hand to tuck under the blackbird, the hunting success of the falcon, and open egg spots on all my other birds. The grassland is an important habitat for your birds in Wingspan and it's also an important habitat for birds out in the wild. Grassland bird populations have decreased 40% in North America since 1966, according to the Audubon Society. In Audubon's Grassland and Birds report, they list 19 priority grassland species that need our help, 11 of which are featured in Wingspan North America. 
Apart from the ferruginous hawk, all of these grassland species are declining in population size. So how can you help? As a homeowner, you can plant more native grasses on your property, avoid rodenticides or insecticides, and keep your cats indoors. As a landowner, you can avoid mowing from May to July, install nest boxes, and consider placing your land in a conservation easement. We also can all support bird legislation, like the North American Grassland Conservation Act. On the Take Action for Birds page on the American Bird Conservancy website, you can sign petitions and send letters to lawmakers to urge them to take action. Click on links in the video description below to learn more about grassland bird con conservation. Thanks everyone for watching my video. Please like and subscribe for more YouTube content. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitch where I'll be playing live stream games. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye!